Hey everybody, it's David again. We're gonna give y'all a quick update on this old GTX I've been working on. So, finally starting to get a little bit done. My hand's starting to get a little better now, so I'm been out here working on it. And in this little tiny shop, I can't get about half of it at a time in here, but uh, I got the back half pulled in here and been trying to get this uh, trunk pan fixed. Uh, been drilling holes all in it, got it, got it uh, test fit. It fit pretty good actually. And, uh, Marked it and drilled all my holes, and I just got three welded my uh, gas tank brackets on from the bottom of it. I got the new frame rail put in. Uh, got a patch put on this one here. Where this had a little small rusty place here. It wasn't bad at all. This one's getting solid now. Uh, I reckon I've got everything done. Uh, I've got to clean these tops off here and put some of that weld through primer on so I can weld it on there. And uh, I got to put my cross brace in right here next if this do that i got these um pieces here fixed all that rust i got cut out put some new metal in there actually it looks pretty decent for my first time i think it'll clean up real nice when i get done and i've um pressing to punch some holes in um around here so i can weld to uh, this slip right here I'm working on that right now, but we're gonna we're gonna see if we can get this thing put in here tonight. Hopefully, I can or get at least get most of it done. So I'm gonna start punching these little holes. I got me a if you ain't ever seen one of these, it's a little Harbor Freight hole punch thing. It don't cost too much. It's pretty handy if you can get to it. It'll just um, it'll punch a hole right through the sheet metal. And just put it on there, and I'll show you how it works. But it saves you a lot of drilling. They give me something to do, uh, well, my spot wells still on, on these to hold this metal together. So it's a whole lot easier than drilling it. I think it punches like a quarter inch hole in it, um, which is probably about the right size. Yeah. Makes a pretty good little spot with it. Yeah, that little uh, spot well uh, hole puncher works pretty good for that. I've been in here cleaning all this undercoat now from under this car. It had real thick undercoat, and I think it was from the factory. It looked like it was. Um, I left it inside the wheel wells, or I took some of it off and cleaned it up some. It was pretty thick. I thinned it out. I'm going to spray a little more back inside the wheel wells. I know it ain't supposed to have it, probably, but... Uh, I think it'll help protect it a little bit, but I'm getting it all off the frame and the floor. I'm cleaning it clean and going to paint it back, so make sure I get all the rest out. So, uh, anyway, we're going to start drilling some more holes in this pan. We'll clean up these frame rails and stuff, see if we can get this thing in there and get it welded in here. So. I got, got it put in there. I'm almost ready to start spotting it in there. Uh, it fits pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with that thing. Uh, the inner fin wells for wheelhouses fit real nice. Uh, everything looks good. The only thing is my frame is pulled about 
three sixteenths to one side. I'm trying to get it perfectly centered. Just the frame kind of moves back and forth, and I got to get that right. I mean, it's close enough to probably live with it, but I'd rather get it perfect for here, a little bit closer. So I'm gonna try to pull it around just a little bit. It'll move. It'll flex some. So. I think everything else is square with the car just like it's supposed to be, it looks like. So. We're pretty close. I'm going to start welding in here in a few minutes now we'll get it all straight. And, uh, we'll be glad to get this part done. Well, we about finally got the back end put together on the same thing. I've got everything welded in place. Got my tail finish panel put in. All this cross camera stuff done, all these pieces. Everything went together pretty good. Uh, I used the AMD sheet metal on everything and it uh, yeah, fit real nice. Everything worked good. When you put the bumper on, all you're going to see is about an inch of this right here. So I went ahead and painted it blue to uh, match it up fairly close. Just, you ain't going to see much of the blue when you kind of put the, um, the bumper on. Yeah. As you can see inside, the floor is all done. Got everything welded up. I still got to go back and put the seam sealer on it. And, uh, still got to do the work on the quarter panels and I still got to do the, uh, the getters and stuff here. But up under it, solid as rock now. We put a whole new frame rail on this side. We put a small patch on this side. This frame rail was good and solid. All it had was just about four inches. It was kind of, kind of rusted, not terribly bad. Well, I went ahead and uh, made it like new. Put the uh, the cross brace in there, love the gas tank uh, mounts to the bottom of the oil pan. So, we got the uh, inner, inner and outer wheel well patches I made to, um, to fix all this because it was all rusted out down here. And I uh, got all this welded back to the uh, wheel wells in there, got all that tied back together. Everything's tied in, it's super strong now. I think I got it all set and straight. It, was, it took some thinking and uh, I got the car set and perfectly level and I set to sit here with levels and jack around try to get everything matched up. So everything seems to fit pretty good. I think it's going to look fine. Uh, surprisingly, this is my first time I've ever done anything like this and it went pretty, good, pretty well. I think it's going to look fine. So, time to put the uh, rubber piece around here. You can still see these little pieces here where I weld them on, but it's about like it was when I cut the rusty stuff out. So you put the rubber around there, I don't much of that even show you when the trunk really shut. So I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, I should have patched in here where this was rusted out, put a whole new piece in here where this was rusted out, put a piece in there where that was rusted out. A lot of little small pieces. What I've done for the wheelhouses is uh, I bought two of the inner wheelhouse um, things from AMD and I it was about a hundred dollars a piece and that's a lot of money but I thought about it I was going to try to bend that metal and all that and I thought shoot I'll just go buy me two of these and I just cut my patches out uh, cut the pieces out and I laid them out on these new pieces and marked them and they fit really nice and, and then on the in, uh, the outer wheelhouses, I just used the piece off the back side of the inner ones, and actually it matched up really nice. And I didn't even have to buy those to cut because I just needed a small piece right here. So I just cut it out of that. I had to bend it just a little bit, tweak it. But uh, as you can see, they fit really nice. Um, so that was an easy way of doing that without having to replace the whole thing. I got them welded in nice and solid. They ain't going nowhere. Or, Everything so far I fix is good as needed pretty much. It's, I've got all the rest cut out. It's solid. Put it back and primed it good. And uh, it's just metal pen is already coated that stuff. And, uh, so we'll try, uh, put this uh, epoxy paint. Uh, it's rust resistant epoxy paint. It's kind of expensive, but it says it even resists salt. So that ought to be uh, some good stuff. And, as much as I'm dripping sweat on this thing out here in this heat, it needs that. But it's going to rust out if I didn't come. But anyway, thanks for watching. We'll get started on uh, something else here pretty soon. We're working on our rear end. I ordered some parts for it, so we're going to get it uh, cleaned up and uh, get it put back in there. So that'll probably be the next thing I'm working on. Thanks for watching.